Hi, so today I'm going to be opening up the Microsoft Mixed Reality headset. Uh, it's something that I pre-ordered a couple months ago, and when I pre-ordered it, there really wasn't a lot of information about it. Um, but regardless, it came yesterday uh, in the mail, or to UPS, and um, as you can see, I already have a HTC Vive, as well as an Oculus Rift. Um, so I'm kind of curious what this thing from Microsoft is actually like. So this headset is actually the HP version. Um, and I think the price I paid for it was about 330 something in that ballpark. And the other choice was the one by, I believe, Asus or Acer. And the reason I went for the HP oops, is I like the form factor a little bit more. It was a little less goofy looking than the other one. So that's what it looks like um, in terms of size comparison. If I hold it up next to the Oculus Rift, um, you can see it's more or less about the same size. Um, the design of the headband, um, it's more reminiscent of the HoloLens, I guess. Um, if we hold it next to the HTC Vive, you can see it's about the same. And what you notice is that with the Microsoft um, Mixed Reality headset is there's no support that goes directly over the head like you see in the other two headsets, like with the Vive and the Rift. Um, so I don't know if that will cause any comfort issues. Um, what I find is the support over the head sort of helps to distribute the weight. Um, so maybe, maybe that would be an issue. Um, one of the things I've noticed is that as I lift it up, in terms of weight, um, the Microsoft one is comparable to, to the Oculus Rift, whereas the Vive is you know, heavier. Uh, so maybe the fact that it doesn't have support over the top of the head, um, maybe that's really not an issue. So let's see what else came in this box. So here, this seems to be, well, I thought that was an HDMI connector, but that connector seems to be not an HDMI, some sort of proprietary connector. And I guess the only other things in the box is presumably a manual of some sort. And it seems to be a very white manual, or maybe one of those warnings. And then just this cable. So I'm going to open up this cable and we can see what the connectors are like. So this is what I meant by something that's not HDMI, some proprietary cable or socket. And then here, that's USB. And I'm guessing the other one is an HDMI. So yeah, so the other one is an HDMI. And I think that's it. Um, just looking at this headset, I'm a little bit surprised by this 1440 uh, spatial computing. I'm not sure what that 1440 indicates. I thought the resolution was much higher than you know, 1440, so hopefully that's not the resolution. And as I look at this thing from the front, um, I see that it has two cameras, one on each side. And if I look at it you know, from the inside, um, it looks very much like the Vive and the Rift in terms of you know, it's really just two lenses there and there's no pass-through. Um, I, it's not like the HoloLens where it's transparent and you can actually physically see things. 
but hopefully the two cameras side by side, um, you at least would have pass through video. Now, one interesting thing to see here is this seems to be a hinge. So I wonder if that means this thing flips up and it looks like it does. Um, so I wonder if, you know, that makes it easier. Um, for example, if I need to transition between wearing the headset versus, you know, doing something on a desktop or a laptop that I could just flip this up and then, you know, physically see what I'm working with and then flip it back down. Um, hopefully that will be, you know, much more easier to use than the, than the Rift or the Vive because whenever I'm doing development, um, let's say in Unity, and I need to, you know, um, type something on the keyboard or do something with the mouse, I basically have to take the headset off and then put it back on. Whereas this, potentially I just flip it. But the range of motion seems somewhat restricted, so I bent it that far and then I feel some resistance, so I don't want to force it. So I don't know if it's intended to flip all the way up and down or it's merely intended for a comfort adjustment. Um, since I have it out, I might as well put it on to see how it feels. So the knob in the back, if I turn it, it expands and I'm going to put it on my head. So that's what it looks like. Note I can't actually see anything except there's a little gap um, where my face and nose is. So I can sort of see the ground from there. Um, but actually, it feels pretty comfortable. Um, I think it's pretty well mounted on top of my head. I can do this, you know, and if I just turn the knob on the back, I could tighten it and loosen it. So it actually feels pretty good. Um, similar to how I felt when I was wearing um, the HoloLens. Um, so that's what's in the box. Um, I hope to actually connect this and fire it up and maybe download the SDK uh, in Unity and see what I can do with it. So we'll see uh, where things take us. Thanks.